listening to the audience and what people are saying about your brand is one of the most important aspects of social media strategy that is often overlooked. Luckily, Sprinkler gives us several tools to help make this easier. To start, we're going to go to New Page, and under the Sprinkler Insights tab, we'll look in the Listen column at the Explorer features. Smart Quick Insights is a question and answer based interface where you type in a question about your brand and it will provide AI based feedback to you. Trending Topics includes Twitter trending topics at the worldwide and national level. And Quick Search is a Boolean query based search tool where you can string together different parameters and it will provide instant feedback from historic, publicly accessible social media and forum data. We'll start with Quick Search. As you can see, there's an entity operator to help you build a query, or you can simply type in your query into this box. You can also save queries, but please be aware that any queries saved are available for all users across campus to see. Boolean queries follow an if this and that, but not this formula. Anything in quotation marks, such as Michigan State University is here, requires a direct match. Anything in parentheses is considered a set and and or or parameters between those words affect the behavior. In this case, I'm saying I want search results that include Michigan State University or Michigan State, or MSU, and the word commencement, or the hashtag SpartanGrad23. I'm going to click search. And you can see here it's pulling in the last seven days of data, but I can change that time frame if I'd like. And if I scroll down, I can see different types of content in this reporting. The volume trend, top themes, content type, etc. With all of these charts, I can hover to get more information. If I click, I can dive deeper into the data to see who is posting the content, what are they posting, etc. I can see word clouds of AI calculated emotions, titles from posts, etc. Looking over here at this top theme cloud, I see here that Wayne State University is a common theme. I don't need Wayne State University results in this query, so I'm going to go up to edit my topic and add not Wayne State. I'll use quotation marks so that it requires that exact match. Otherwise, if I had said Wayne State separately, it would exclude anything that included the word state or the word Wayne. I'll hit enter or click search to reconfigure. And you can see the results have updated. If I wanted to save this query to return to later, I could click save research query. Again, that would make it available to everyone on campus or I could simply copy and paste this thread into a Word doc or text file and save it to my computer. Then next time I want to repeat this search, I can paste it in as is. There are different tabs to filter out the different kinds of reporting here. You can see information about the audience that's having this conversation, what they're saying, overall sentiment, etc. You can also filter by country, language, and more. Some potential use cases for this include evaluating keywords to help your search engine optimization strategy in an article, identifying media personalities that are speaking to a particular research topic that you can then pitch, checking hashtags for activity before choosing one for an upcoming event, or monitoring conversation around a hashtag event or your unit's brand to determine common themes, issues to address, etc. This is all looking at publicly available data, so anything on a private Facebook page, private Instagram, private Twitter, etc. will not appear. 
it's also looking at backwards data. So it's past data up until the most recent, but not messages as they're being posted. Just something to keep in mind for your reporting cases.